The USDA identified some of those mysterious seed packets that keep popping up in mailboxes across the country. More than a thousand people have received the unexpected packages from China. 14 seed species have been identified so far, like mustard and cabbage, as well as herbs like mint, sage, rosemary, and lavender. There are also some flower breeds like morning glory, hibiscus, and roses. The samples identified so far are harmless, but the USDA is still warning people to not plant them. Here in Arkansas, the State Department of Agriculture is warning people to not even open those packages. Government officials don't believe it to be any more than, quote, brushing scam, but they still want to know about it. So one woman in Little Rock got some of the seeds in the mail and tells us it was unnerving. It's just creepy that your address is out there, you know, for somebody to just randomly send you something. And like I said, you're taking a chance opening a package that you're with your name on it. If you happen to get these seeds in the mail, it's really easy to report. You can go to our website, find a seed reporting form. The Department of Agriculture will pick up the seeds and then identify or destroy them. All right, so as the COVID-19 cases uh, keep rising, demand for gas is dropping across the country. But let's take a look at where Arkansas ranks on the map right now. Um, it's at the top three with the lowest gas prices. Here's the average here, $1.87. It's down one cent from last week. And the cheapest gas right now is at the Valero on Reynolds Road in Bryant, $1.62. I still think this is great for gas. Yeah, that's worth uh, that's worth the drive to Saline County. Um, mm -hmm. They say it's great for us as customers. I'm sure the companies are kind of like, oh, we nice for those prices to go it's back up. It's all about those Kroger points. Them Kroger points will get you in Helps the right me. spot now. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's talk about top trends. You can now buy merchandise. Just in case you were wondering, oh, from gosh. the 2017 Fire Festival. Who remembers this? All right, I... this was this huge fraud of a music festival that's supposed to be in the Bahamas. All right, oh, wow. it's a, a huge scam. So you. U.S. Marshals are auctioning hat shirts, wristbands, and other branded items. Proceeds will go to victims of Billy McFarland's, listen to this, $26 million scam. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so some of the items are selling for 20 times the original price. McFarland sold tickets for thousands of dollars uh, to supposedly have one of the most premier events of all time. That was just a huge fraud. So... It's crazy that that even became a thing to Did be. Did you Our watch it on Netflix? Yes. Ugh. Horrible, right? I, I could not believe what I was watching. It just got worse and worse. And I'm oh, like, yeah. wow. Yeah. $26 million fraud. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, going on to our next story. We're talking about good old Dunkin' Donuts. They're giving the DD Perks members a uh, kicking off the week with free coffee Mondays, and they're going to return the free donut Fridays. Wow. When is this going to start? It starts today. Yeah. Members can get a free medium cup of the brand's renowned hot or iced coffee. Guests can end the week on a sweet note with the favorites like the Boston Cream Donut, the Glaze, mm. the Glaze Chocolate, Strawberry Frosted with Sprinkles, 